This video looks at the issue of avoiding care home fees. It may come as surprising news to learn that many people are responsible for paying their full care home costs. A person is responsible for funding their own care if the valuation of their personal assets exceeds the national threshold. This savings threshold is different in England and Northern Ireland than it is in Wales or Scotland. If your assets are over the threshold, you will be classed as a self-funder. You will then be expected to pay your charges in full from your own income, savings account, or property's value. However, even if you are found to be over the threshold and need to self-fund, you might be eligible for other forms of financial help towards paying your fees. For example, you may be able to get support such as attendance allowance, personal independence payment, or carer's allowance if you have a carer. The savings threshold for care home fees changes depending on whether you are living in England, Wales, Scotland, or Northern Ireland. In England and Northern Ireland, the savings threshold is £23,250. In Wales, the threshold amount is £24,000. Finally, the savings threshold for the cost of care in Scotland is £27,250. So, one of the things that people do is look to give away their assets. However, this is known as a deliberate deprivation of assets. Deliberate deprivation of assets is when you try to decrease the total valuation of your wealth so that you don't have to self-fund the care you need. There is no limit to how far back the local authority can look to work out whether any care home fee avoidance has taken place. If the council concludes that you intentionally reduced your income, property or savings, then they might calculate how much you need to put towards the cost of your care home as if you still had the money you spent or gave away. So, if you try to avoid care fees you may end up being required to spend more money than you can actually afford. There are multiple behaviors that could be classed as a way of intentionally reducing your money to avoid care fees. Giving away of a large lump sum of money to a loved one. Gambling away your money. Suddenly making lots of purchases in an uncharacteristic way, either as gifts or for yourself. Spending lots of money on a holiday. Signing house over to avoid care costs by transferring the property deeds of your family home to another member of your family. Buying expensive possessions that are normally not included in a means test, such as jewelry or cars. If you think you are impacted, the best thing we can recommend is speaking to a specialist.